Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, September 26, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. I don't talk a lot about sort of some more targeted attacks, but there is a report by Sentinel Labs I figured is worth talking about because it discusses some... Uh, malware that has been used to target some uh, telcos in Europe, uh, North Africa, and the Middle East. And it uses a couple of interesting techniques. Often these techniques then later trickle down into sort of more commodity uh, malware. One interesting idea here is that they're using Lua just in time. Uh, this is a just in time compiler for the Lua scripting language. The actual malware is written in Lua, which of course makes it more modular, easier uh, to maintain than something that's outright compiled. And uh, by deploying it, with the Lua virtual machine, it also does evade some standard detection techniques. The group deploying this malware is also taking advantage yet again of pass the hash and NTLM authentication, talking to other sense instructors and such that do pen tests. This is sort of one of their most common finding. It's often exploited for lateral movement, also by ransomware gangs. So even if you don't feel targeted by this malware, yet another good reminder to sort of you know harden uh, this part of your infrastructure. Finally, for a command and control channel, what sort of stuck out to me here is that this malware uses Quick. I haven't really seen Quick being used much. Also, they're using HTTP2, I believe, here. Uh, neither protocol I've seen used a lot uh, sort of in command control channels. Quick is in particular difficult so have to get a hold of and really analyze. And uh, a lot of your IDSs and even sort of uh, TLS uh, interception devices may not be ready to deal with quick uh, one of course no no pun here but one quick way to block pick is just uh, to control udp out of your environment in particular of course udp port 443 and didn't see any evidence that uh, this particular malware is using any other uh, ports Controlling UDP, of course, has its own issues, like, uh, for example, you know, streaming uh, some voice over IP stuff and such that you probably need to allow. For more details, see the Sentinel-1 blog post. And then Node.js users, be aware, a critical vulnerability was patched in the system information library for Node.js. This is a very popular library, 8 million downloads a month. And uh, well, what it does is sort of pretty obvious based on the name of the library. It can be used uh, to collect information about your system. One part of that information is also the SSID of any Wi-Fi network that you may be connected to. And there was sort of a very classic OS command injection vulnerability. After collecting the SSID, it's being passed to operating system commands in order to retrieve additional information. Not sure how you would exactly exploit this if you have to trick a victim to actually connect to a malicious SSID, which of course may take some convincing, uh, but uh, certainly good that they patch this vulnerability. And then we got a tweet from PT Swarm regarding a critical vulnerability in the JetBrains Team City tool. Team City is sort of a CI CD tool, so used to, to deploy a software. It does suffer from an authentication bypass vulnerability, according to PT Swarm CVE 2023-42793. The software was patched by JetBrains, and I'm using some of the tools myself. I know they are pretty good about sort of alerting you of updates and uh, even sort of allowing you to semi-automatically uh, deploy them. This is certainly something that you want to update quickly. There's a so a response to this uh, tweet uh, by PT Swarm that suggests that uh, there may be an identical or at least similar vulnerability about a year ago. Uh, not really sure if it's the same vulnerability, but given that it has a CVE, it was reported to uh, JetBrains and JetBrains did release an update. I do believe that this is a new, unique vulnerability here in Team City. 
Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.